You know, I think the impact for this past year was just a lot of the unknown. This year, it felt like we were facing insurmountable challenges. When we first started, we didn't know if we'd be able to open up, what we'd be able to do. All throughout this, there were a lot of questions of would theater be able to come back? And really hard on our stage crews and the people that count on this work. And so we decided to go and start showing movies. And then we saw that we had the capacity to do some live performances. And so we knew arts and culture were a thing that brought people together and transformed the imagination for greater change. With all of the troubles that we had to deal with, with COVID and the restrictions and the worries about everyone's safety, it made everything a little bit more difficult for all of us. Not having our larger touring shows like Broadway or concerts, while it was a little disappointing at first, it really gave us an opportunity. So we knew we had to stay open in whatever way we could safely, and we knew we had to tell the stories of our friends and neighbors to bridge the differences that were dividing us. Uh, and that turned out to be a, a great opportunity for us. We were already thinking about, uh, you know, telling the stories of the community, but it really allowed us to tell the stories of the community at a time when the community was going through a lot of anxiety uh, over so many different things. I think that the ability for us to do things like the Broadway Does concerts outside that brought an opportunity for safety as well as entertainment at a time when it was really needed was very, very exciting and important. And all the things that we talk about really valuing uh, in our communities and how we wish we could get back to, we're hearing a lot of those stories right now. When we looked to our neighbors and our friends and said, hey, what talent and what stories can you bring to the grand stage? They showed up and showed out and it was just fantastic to be able to see all the personalities that we have right here in Middle Georgia. I went to the grand when I was in second grade on a field trip and they were like, whoa, 32 years ago? And I finally came back out on the stage. Mercer having their Fabian series here was a fantastic thing for me to see once we finally had people coming back into the building and enjoying live music in this wonderful space once again. Not, not only that, but my granddad, who, was 100 years, who turned 100 years old that day, he was out there. And my, my dad, he was out there and my son. So we had four generations in the building. So many people have come to us and said, I never really thought the Grand Opera House was for someone like me. I'd never been in there. I lived here all my life. Um, and, you know, even just last week, someone said, you know, I never pictured it as being a safe space for someone like me uh, or my friends or and that type of thing. Uh, and suddenly it is. We were able to highlight the stars um, in our own backyard. And so right now we're really thinking about, okay, as we move toward the future, uh, how are we going to balance bringing in the big touring companies, the big Broadway shows and things we've done before, but also bring, in, bring the big stories of, of making uh, onto the stage. Now is more important than ever to support the Grand Opera House. We haven't been able to rely on the big houses that bring in our show revenue, and we really want to preserve this gem for as many generations as we can. Now is more important than ever to support the Grand in any way that you can, because we are coming off of this dramatic year of not being able to do all the things we love to do for you. Your support allows us to continue to provide programming to bring people together for the arts, which I believe is important now more than ever. Arts and culture and creativity uh, are all what kind of bring making together and you can make that happen. To continue to bring the magic of Broadway to Middle Georgia, to begin to expand into more community partnerships, to tell the stories of locals right here, to rock out to awesome concerts, and to continue to be the vibrant community assembly place here in downtown Macon. Events bring all the people from Macon into town and create those memories that last forever. We will have uh, the capacity, we'll be back to capacity. We'll have a lot of people who are eager to rent the theater and do the performances in the theater. Uh, but there's also the time between now and then 
where the financial support that people can give us will really matter. By contributing to the grand, you're making a statement. Live arts are important to you and to the community. It shows that representation on stage is important. As much as we had to restrict the number of people coming into the theater, more people felt that the doors were open to them. Your support makes a huge difference in us being able to carry out and expand our mission. There are so many organizations that are deserving of your support, but it's my hope that you see yourself here at the Grand and that you choose to support us as we look forward to a hopeful future. Thank you for supporting the Grand Opera House.